um, I think tonight was a, a big, really big game for us. It was um, a game that Coach emphasized and we practiced. And we had one day to um, get ready and prepare for Georgia Southern. And we, we thought we had a good chance of winning. And towards the end of the game, we got possessions that we could have finished the game with. And, you know, small mishaps that kind of brought the game to where we, we could come up with a W. Um, coach drew up a play that really was supposed to open up Imani to score quick and give us a chance to get an offensive rebound, and it didn't go that way. And things went wrong. As a team, we took it hard in the locker room. Everybody, like, taking it hard. And Coach, like, keep your head up. You know, we got more games and more games, but the the intensity was there. It was a, probably one of the biggest games at home, I think, for me and the team. So it's hard, but we're moving forward. Can you describe the atmosphere in the locker room, you know? I mean, you kind of mentioned it. After the game? Um, to be honest, a lot of people, you know, was kind of sad, was kind of hurt because we – you know, when you put in time and you, you really think and you know you're supposed to be someone, it, it kind of hurts. Um, and for myself, in the locker room, you know, I kind of try to lift everybody up, tell everybody, keep your head up. You know, we got more, we got more. But tonight, everybody wanted to win. Coach wasn't really that mad at us. He was mad that, you know, you know you're supposed to win. And small things stopped us from winning tonight. Not really defense, because we stopped them. We just can score. So, you know, everybody was kind of like in their feelings. But... You know, towards, you know, we got practice tomorrow and we start over again and, and get ready for the next home game. You had been really good as a team in, in these close game situations and being able to pull it out. But the last couple of times, just it, it seems that that hasn't happened. Has there been a difference in those, in those situations or guys trying to do too much in certain situations? Um, I'm not going to say guys trying to do too much. I really don't blame no one. I think, you know, somebody do something, they try and, you know, they best to give us the best outcome to win. I think sometimes we put ourselves in too many predicaments to where we depend on the last play, which, you you, you know, you all see. You know, especially, you know, we have a, a lead, and tonight we, we, we never got a lead. We never got away from, you know, them. We tied the game twice, and it's getting to the point where now if we keep playing this way, we, we, we looking forward to taking more losses if we try to play to the end instead of distancing ourselves, you know, giving us more room to, to have turnovers or miss free throws, which Coach stated. Instead of playing close games, we play the most we, we have played the most close games or overtimes more than anyone in the conference. So it, it, it's, it's kind of getting hard, but, you know, Coach emphasizing, you know, offense and defense is going to make us win, not just defense. After your layup there to tie it up, I think it was at 43, it seemed like you, you guys had the, all the momentum that you needed to, to, to carry out. Did you, was the confidence there that, you know, did you feel like after that went in, you guys were going to be able to pull this out and, and win? Yes, I actually did. I, I actually, um, I got the layup and the, everyone got loud. The team got, you know, a little momentum and I thought we was going to get a stop and then we'll have a chance to come down and have one more chance at it. And they got an offensive rebound and scored and it kind of like killed everything. It was hard. I, I, everyone looked at each other like, "What happened?" And everybody was like, "Down." But it, it's, it's starting to it's starting to hit us that playing close games hurts in the end because you, you know you don't know you know where the ball gonna go. You don't know what's gonna happen. So why not distance yourself and you know play to the best of your ability from the beginning? Especially when you play you know 33 seconds of great deep or almost a full shot mm -hmm. clock of great defense, and then one goes in like that. I mean, how demoralizing is that as a team to, to see that happen? Um, it, it actually feels like someone on your own team shoots you or do some harm to you because it, it it's something that you can do. You could, we could have stopped it. It feel like, you know, I guess everybody said, you know, we're going to get this stop and we're going to come down to score, and then they score like that. It was kind of – it was hard. Everybody told each other, you know, we're going to get a stop and we're going to come down to score. But, I mean, there's nothing we could do about it. That's it? It seemed like you got to the hole pretty easy tonight. Was there something you learned when you guys from the first game you guys played against Georgia Southern? Because while you got contested at the hoop, look, you finished strong. It looks like you had your way around the hoop. Um, I actually did. They, I mean, in in, in the conference, a lot of teams um, wants me to shoot the ball. They 
they try not to let me drive to the goal. So in the first time we played them, you know, coach emphasized don't shoot fast, and then I try not to go fast. So I was debating, you know, debating what sh what should I do. And tonight I just told myself I'm going no matter what, and it, it worked in my favor. So that's kind of been the difference in my offensive game. Seems like something's clicked over the last three games for you as well. I mean, you've had probably your three best games here in, mm -hmm. in the last three. Mm -hmm. Would you agree with that? And, and can you point to anything that it's been? Or? Um, you know, tonight I, I started, and like I mentioned, I, I didn't know that I was going to start, but it started with uh, defense. You know, it started with rebounding, and rebounding is something I'm starting to take pride in, and it's helping me offensively because I get some rebounds and I score off it, and they give me points. And coming to, coming to Texas State, I was predominantly just to score. I didn't really want to rebound, but now that's kind of opening it up. And you have to worry about me on both sides, me without the ball and with the ball. So it's, it's kind of helped me. And the last three games have shown me, shown me that I can be better and I can help the team in more ways.